Okay, with Alexis Young, please click two is the short film played at the under five minute film festival. It's a three minute film. Uh, it's got some scary elements to it. It's got some new age kind of stuff going on. According to your blog interview, this was a, a writing assignment that this is where you kind of came up with the idea. Yeah, in one of my writing classes, um, we had to like come up like three to five, like a writing inventory yeah. of ideas. And I like read it. So I just was like, I saw this one post and it just kind of reminded me, I was like, this is something because I, I, I saw it and I just couldn't stop reading it. And I just was like going in and I was like, this would be it. And it, it there was other stuff that I also had in the writing inventory, but everybody liked that That's one the great. most. Yeah. So the next step was that you developed the script, I guess you kind of like wrote it. Yeah. So like when you, after you picked out of the three to five, then you got to like, um, you pick the one and then you'd have to write um, a short story about it. And mine was like up to like 30 pages. And so I shortened it down a lot because I were like in school and like film school, they tell you that short films, they push you to do short films more yeah. so than feature, you know? So then it came, it was like a 30 page kind of short story and now it's a three minute film? Yeah, it was like 34 something, like 30 something pages. And um, I went, so I wrote it in the class, which was fine. And then like, they wanted me to like break it down to at least like under 20 pages, um, which I didn't do in the class. Um, but then when it came, I was in one of my production classes uh, we were working on our projects and like our production and we were like, we decided to do um, one of like, they, they decided to do the please click for um in my group and everything. And so to film it, we only had like two, three weeks to film and get everything together. And so like I had to condense it a lot and focus mostly, the first part was mostly on um the the guy the man and everything telling people like to watch it and please click and so I focused mostly on that gotcha and then yeah because it's kind of a like it's one location of course you got the uh, the video as well but you kind of like yeah it's a it's a perfect kind of analogy but then is there a bigger film here like do you think that there's a bigger film here yeah so the first part um since I I put part two into in um the festival but the first part was the man and his uh videos and stuff like that telling people to watch and then the part that I submitted was um the children watching what he put out there on like a reddit post and so yeah. now there it was their turn basically to be sucked into the the uh invite like you know the technology world basically um and and the original script that was like 15 to 20 pages and it was like located in a school and and there was multiple locations but as a film student I was like I gotta condense this I gotta bring it down and so I am going back to the 30 something minute film and everything and making more of a like because it is it's supposed to be um an ongoing trip like it's just story of like how we are involved in like you know we get so enraptured into technology that like when we see a post we just gotta like get on it and twitter and yeah. everything and just yeah so you're kind of <laughs> making a you're making a grand statement about your generation yeah anything i mean i'm a part of it too i'm not afraid to admit that like i well, I, I couldn't stop and put down the actual what I got where I got it from the source material. I just kept reading it and everything, even though literally in the source material it was like telling you and warning you not to read it. Like, you know, you just can't help but to click. And we are in this like post age where everybody has to like views and interaction and engagement with technology that like I just think it is um, an interesting concept of like how we are so locked in into the world. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this what what film what school is this at? Um, Columbia College Chicago. Columbia College Chicago, but you're based in. Are you from Michigan? Yeah, I'm from Michigan. I filmed it in Chicago. Okay, yeah, it's a good school. I've like I know a lot of people go there. We've we've actually uh, shown a lot of films from from that school, Columbia College. <laughs> so 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 how many films have you made? How many versions? Are, like so, you made part one. We we were watching part two, but it's a standalone film. We don't have to watch part one to watch part two. I guess right. 
Nope. Yeah. I liked where you can you can pick up wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. But the lore is still there. So like if you've like what like, you know, back rooms and like all of that, like you can pick up anywhere, but there is lore if you want to and if you are adventurous, there is lore if you go back. So how many have you made a part three yet? Um part three is gonna be the 30 minute one and I am gonna make that this year and everything so i'm trying to get funds um i'm setting up to an uh, indiegogo i now got better tech and everything like a better camera some more lights more locations and a few things is it going to be yeah. the same cast uh a character people no different cast it will be a new guy but the same woman the same okay. um like female creature and everything because I love her and everything. Um, she's amazing, the actress and all that. And so I like I want to keep her around. But I will be working with like mostly just try to stick it to under five people characters because I feel like it is a story that's more like talking about the the actions more so than the characters. Yeah. All right. So, so let's talk about this film. For, by the way, I love your credits. The, the credits are great. The like kind of like the 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 Reddit blog answers, I guess, like the comments. Yeah. With the credits, that's a good. So who came up with that idea? Um, my editor. So yeah. he's he's really amazing. Um, I literally don't. I let like the people that I worked with on the project, and I continue. Um, majority of them were from the first part and everything and I will try to get a lot of the crew the same it's just now we're working with I'm going to be here in Michigan filming and they're all in Chicago yeah. but my editor he is like the best he was there on um the set the whole days he helped with everything and like you know we had some problems and so he helped fill in and like I was like you know this is what I'm looking for I'm looking for this this and this and this and this and that um I saw so many drafts and I was like can you like embellish it more and can you add more and so it was it was all him I just I was just like telling him like this is what I want I wanted to feel like a like a v like you're on the internet like you're just scrolling yeah yeah it's a great idea so let's, okay, tell me about this this particular film because you have the the main location of like the auditorium or whatever the kind of like the school kind of lecture hall i guess right and then you have the video screen and you're shooting the video screen so it kind of has that grainy kind of like look right because yeah. there's like a generational loss i guess if that makes sense to you yeah and i think um i like found footage and like vhs and so yeah. i kept pushing for that and everything um and i I would have like I remember being on set and being like, no, I want the projector on. Give me, I want that look. And they're like, this is what you want. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna see what I mean. And like me having to play it in the background. And so like I'm actually in there too because like I couldn't. We had to turn it on from the computer at the, at the front. And so you could like I'm in the corner hiding, turning it the the um yeah the screen back on and stuff like that. And I just wanted the feel of like like film students or like students watching like like you know because that's what we do like I remember being in clubs and hanging out with my friends and everything and we'll like we'll be sitting in class and everything and we will watch old movies and like just old stuff and very like creepy things too and very like underground like I don't want to be like we're those film students but we've watched like a lot of underground weird stuff yeah no, it's great. It's a good, it's a great visual look. It's like uh so then you so the, was this your first film that you've ever made? Yeah, by myself. Like or not myself, like, like by my directed. Yep, and everything. So I went to school, I went to Columbia wanting to be a cinematographer. Um, but um <laughs> took him up and that was hard. Um, and so I went into like writing and I just kind of focused on that. Um, but then the opportunity arose where I could uh, direct one of my scripts because I had now like friends and with equipment and they were, they were, you know, they wanted to do it. They were happy. They wanted more projects with especially horror because I feel like mine, we get a lot of um, drama, like very re real, realistic dramas and everything at the time in Columbia. So there wasn't any, like a lot of experimental films and stuff like that really like helped. And like, I remember my, my director, my DP was like saying like, oh, like, um, I I like the aspect that I, I get to play more, like play around because I allowed her to, you know, if I obviously had my own set shots and stuff like yeah. that. 
but I still allowed her if she when she like when she like I want to get this shot on and everything or I want this I let her because it's still like a learning experience for both of us and stuff that like I, I trust them and I know that they also have a vision of what they want. Gotcha. So you started as a cinematographer. You wanted to go to school as a cinematographer, and now you're moving to directing. Yeah, but I'm I'm still like now I'm doing like um, camera operating and also now playing with cameras and everything. So I, I I'm whatever I want to be basically. Whatever you want to be. <laughs> okay, so what is your what's your origin story? Like you you were you're born and raised in Michigan. Yep. Um. So I'm from Michigan. Um. Uh. I like I was adopted. Um. My dad's white. My mom's black. I was raised up here. Um. And here, like I was. I went to a very like STEM centered school that we didn't really have a lot of like artistic stuff. Okay. And so I didn't get the opportunity like to explore. And when I did, it was like outside, like in the the theater in my community and stuff like that. And I joined that and I was obsessed with it. And I um I pushed to have like plays at my school and stuff. And um yeah, and I just did things on the side and I knew I wanted to be like in some type of like artistic because I would I was always writing and reading and watching like I went to comic cons and like I I wasn't afraid to like go to movies like I remember I forced my friends to go see Lord of the Rings on my birthday <laughs> like you know I've been obsessed with like storytelling so yeah. And then so you basically like wanted to branch out and, and go to school. Because it's not an easy, it's not a, a easy school to get into. So did you have to like audition? Did you have to give them some samples, or how did? What was that process? Yeah, I gave. Um, so I, me and my friend, like, we filmed like a little, like a little video. Um, it was more at the time. It was more a little bit more emotional, I guess. Than it wasn't horror. Like I mostly do horror when I in Columbia. That's what yeah. I was known for for writing horror or helping out on like on that type of like segment. But when I filmed something for Columbia, it was more emotional. And then I had write like pieces, like because I like to um do creative writing and poetry and stuff like that also. And so. I just sent them a lot of my journals um, and the I'm like uh, the video I made about my um, biological mother and stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, I got accepted and I got accepted some other places, but Columbia I felt was the best like for me because um, I came from a very uh, like diverse school in high school like it was like we I went to school with Muslims I went to school with Africans like it was just you know because it was an international bachelor like IV school yeah and so it was it was very integrated and the schools that I got accepted into were very they were diverse but it was still segregated and I wanted to be in a school that was the same as like where I like why high like my high school but still have um this uh more creative aspect where I can still yeah. flourish yeah well I think you're moving away and you're young it's so like it's that's 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 anxiety enough so you want to be as as comfortable as you can in an environment where you're moving away I guess so that makes sense yeah yeah you, right. I, and like, I it's close by too right you can drive from where you are to yep. Chicago I guess right yeah, it's like four hours like literally yeah. my dad would drive and we'd get coffee yeah. <laughs> you know hang out for a quick sec and then you drive back home yeah do you like do you like chicago yeah it's one of my like it's not my top like city my favorite city but it is one of my favorite cities i think it is a very like the culture there is just amazing um there's always something to do the as the youth is just amazing i'm also in a lot of activism stuff and so i do like protest and um rallies and I try to be like in, like in the environmentalism stuff and everything um and so there is a lot there if you like you if you like that stuff I mean obviously there is that everywhere but like yeah. the culture there makes it so you can be involved in it more in the community and I just yeah I, I thrived out there oh that's so good so okay so you're gonna do your next piece is you're gonna do the 30 minute film you're still are you still in school or nope I graduated all right. So you graduated. So then you're just kind of like, and then do you have any plans? Like, what is your, what do you want to do? Um, so I've been working on like sets here and there, uh, 
I am trying to get back into acting and I know it's like, you know, but like it's good money, sorry to say, but I, things like that. Um, I do want to focus a little bit more on writing and entering more contests writing wise. Um, and just anything, I am in the works of trying to get like, I don't want to be, it's not like I'm trying to become like, like a like a script doctor but like a mini like you know I know it's really hard and to be that like that takes years and experience and all that yeah. but like somebody who can just get be able to look at scripts and write coverages or like whatever just to get access to what's going on and everything gotcha and then so uh yeah so you're like you're on your way so it's it seems like a you seem like in a very balanced and it, this is kind of a great idea for a series and you're kind of showcasing your talent i really i think this there's a lot of, there's a lot to this film i watched it a few times i broke it down a little bit it's like there's just there's some, some nice shots and there's some nice kind of like you're 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 using you're making it a visual very much a visual film but then we're emotionally engaged in the two characters as well so and it's only 3 minutes long so you you nailed it so I hope it serves you guys. I hope it serves you well. I'm looking forward to seeing the 30 minute version. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what did you think about the audience? We send the audience to you. What did you think what they had to say about your film? I think it, I, I was excited. Um, I'm always like, I remember the first time I did part one, I was really, cause we showcased it in front of my class and everything. Yeah. And I get so nervous cause I'm just like, I don't, obviously I'm not making a million dollar film and I don't have the funds and everything. And so I was nervous that it wouldn't be scarier not like enough or th that it would just be too gimmicky. Um, yeah. Like I was just worried that it wasn't going to be enough and everything. Um, and so I, I was happy that the audience like was still able to get like that fear or like, like just some type of eeriness from it. Um, yeah. I knew they were going to love the credit scenes and stuff like that and everything, but I was still happy that, Cause I was just nervous that, you know, like, oh, that you could see that's makeup and that's, oh, you could see that looks yeah. like and everything. And I just didn't want, I, you know, I didn't have the ability. So I had to make it scary through the, the idea of it and not like the, like, you know, what the character, like what the woman looks like or the characters, like the, the figurines look like. I had to make the idea of them yeah. being scary. And so it was just, I, I'm happy that everybody could get scared or some type of scare from it. Yeah, well, they did, right? So yeah, but yeah, it's good. It's uh, so okay. So that yeah, I, so I'm, I'm, I want to see your next film, and then yeah, you go. There's a you. We have a we'll link your YouTube channel, and you could watch both of the films, part one and part two. And then part is it, is it going to be called? Please click part three. Is that what it's going to be called? Yeah, I'm thinking part three to keep on the continuation, or just please click just to like let it know. But I don't really know I'm still deciding on like I'm gonna talk it out and everything yeah. like how I want it to be because like back, like I don't know if you know like bathrooms and stuff like that there's so many different videos of it but they're all called literally like black back rooms or like log inventory or if you know like these types of things and it's just like I'm, I'm working on how I want it to like yeah. play out on the visual like the video aspect gotcha all right. Well, let's talk then. Let's talk when the movie's done. I wish you all the best of success and uh, congratulations on everything so far. Thank you. Thank you. And, and over your left shoulder, it says there's a big sign that says vote and make sure that everybody <laughs> in the United States votes this year. <laughs> it's a huge yeah. election. Please vote. So I like that. That's yes. Like that. So, all right. Yeah. All right. Man. Especially your state. You got a big state there. So yeah. right here. What's that? The, Mich the Michigan hand. Oh, Michigan that's so cool. Hand. That's where I am. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a it's a swing state. It's only, there's only five important states, and you're one of them. So, all right, yeah. have a good one. <laughs> Bye.